Are you looking for a one-stop shop for your next holiday charcuterie board? Well, in this video, I'm going to take you on a journey to Walmart from start to finish and get this beautiful board on your table to serve to your friends and family. If we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Jordan and this is Amazing Grace Boards. So if you are interested in videos such as this, all throughout the year, only about charcuterie, then make sure to subscribe. Let's jump right into this video. So I wanted to make sure I filmed everything that I found, whether I purchased or didn't, so that you can see some of the options at Walmart. So I started off with some fruit, whatever fruit you can find. Get a couple of different herbs, some flowers, just so you can decorate. Something sweet, usually like a cookie or a biscuit. Make sure to get your accoutrements, which could be anything you prefer or find. And then you wanna make sure to um, also get a honey. So this one was just, I was had it upside down to make sure I had enough by the time I can pour it. And uh, now we wanna move on to crackers. So there are crackers usually in the deli as well as your aisle. Make sure to check both areas because you usually can find different options. Meat is a huge deal, so there was a ton. This one had three in one, which was great. So keep in mind, there are tons of different ingredients. You wanna make sure to watch out for those. So here is, look at all this cheese. I mean, we don't even need to worry about any types of limitation at Walmart. I found so many fun different things. I ended up not using two of these. So you really only need about three or four. So this ramekin, this is what started it all. It's not even a ramekin. I, it's a ramekin. It's not a board, but it's beautiful. It's from Better Home and Gardens. Make sure to find it in the link below. Let's get started with our crackers. So I chose two different options for crackers. These are the Cars crackers. They're one of my favorites, the water crackers. They are crispy and light and just seem to go well with every cheese, whether it's a hard cheese or soft cheese. Now this Borzin that I found in little bites, I haven't found them at any other store. So let's just clap it up for Walmart because that was an amazing find. Now I've got my pair here that I made sure to cut horizontally. And the way I like to plate pear is usually keeping it in its form, cutting it horizontally, and then sliding it ever so slightly across in a diagonal stance. And if you just take the bottom off, it sits perfectly and it helps to keep everything up around it. So it's just a really cute and fun way to display fruit. Usually, because of course, if that kind of hits the air, it turns yellow and yucky. And this is a perfect way, a little hack to get your fruit to stay fresh. Now I've got the cornichon pickles that I actually had at home. So even though I filmed the options that there are cornichon pickles at Walmart, these I had at home. I have a few other items that just came from my pantry, but I made sure to confirm before I purchased or before I went back home and made it that I they had it at Walmart and everything here is at Walmart. So that pomegranate fruit was a great find as well. It's still a beautiful fall fruit. If you see cherries too, those are a great option. The, um, I just slid, I just took a little slice out of the board and I wanted to make sure, I'm sorry, not the board, the, the fruit. And then I put aside the actual pomegranate seeds so that I can display them in a little bit and kind of just have them overflowing outside of the pomegranate fruit. Now I did end up placing that cheese that I had crumbled up. So I broke the cheese apart. That is a Kerrygold cheese. Now 
I'm very picky about my meat and cheese. So to find a good quality meat and cheese at Walmart was just made my heart sing. Kerrygold cheese is grass fed cows and they make a really great cheddar. So this one was more on a mild, it was a mild cheddar compared to this sharp one, but they have such great cheese. So Kerrygold for the win. And then this salami river that I'm making. So I'm folding the meats in half and then half again. And uh, the Salami River just basically is going from one end of your board to the other and then we'll kind of move it around. Now, meat also, I'm very picky about meat. I don't buy any salami that has nitrates in it. That is a forever ingredient. You just really don't want it in your body. It's usually in every single cured meat, bacon, salami, um, all of it. So if you can find, which, I know you can find it at Walmart. Find meat that does not have nitrates. You'll thank me later in your long life without that in your body. So this was um, a, a pack of three. I think it was around seven bucks, seven dollars for a three option of non nitrate meat. So great. I mean, it just makes me so happy. So I didn't, I didn't, you know, I didn't pretend that I wasn't being picky there. I made sure to find the good stuff. And so you're gonna, you're gonna find it all in this board that I'm gonna get you right now. <laughs> so now I'm just kind of moving the meat back and forth just to kind of like zigzag a little bit of a curvature in the meat. And so if you didn't notice the, the crackers on the other side were a part of the assortment pack. Now, <sighs> Um, the crackers in usually in those assortment packs, I think it's great because you get lots of options and most people like those crackers. I personally, they remind me a little bit of Ritz crackers. They're thicker, they're buttery, they're crumbly, which is yummy, I think, but it only really works well for a soft cheese. So if you're able to find a mixture of both, get your assortment cracker, but get your cars crackers. You'll just know that it's gonna work for the different options that are on your board. Now, I just dropped the half, so it was actually a half log of a cinnamon and cranberry goat cheese log. It was so yummy. I haven't, surprisingly, I haven't had the cranberry with cinnamon and it was so prominent and such a fall flavor. It's so great. You gotta find it and get that one. That's a good option for this holiday season. Now I put down manchego, so I pre-sliced those. Basically you get a triangular log of manchego, which hello, finding manchego at Walmart, I am just so impressed. It was actually very yummy too. It was like a three month age and a, you know, semi soft cheese and you cut them in triangles and then flip them one side over the other, easy to grab, easy to serve. So now I'm starting to kind of visualize the color profile I want, where everything's going to fit, where I'm going to add my accoutrements. Now, obviously you can see that I've switched it out to the green pair, but I realized I liked the warmer colors, so um, I switch it back. I'm sorry. This is just me playing around with some ideas and just seeing the warmer colors of like the honey and the pomegranate and the meat. It's, it is a, a warm red color. I just knew I needed to bring back the red pear. So I'm now adding and filling a little bit more, adding more cheese, moving it around, filling the crackers. I ended up adding the pomegranate seeds there and just starting to perfect one side while I'm still visualizing what do I have left, how many cheeses. I did say that I, I left out two cheeses. The one was the caramelized onion borzen cheese, which if you find that, I would definitely try that one out. It sounded delicious. And the cute um, baby bell, not baby bell, the laughing cow cheese, the little triangular soft cheese. So the laughing cow reminds me a lot of this one. I bought this brie accidentally thinking it was like a triple creme brie. So, you know, usually brie is kind of stays in its soft, semi soft form. And this one was straight soft serve brie, which was actually very surprising and super delicious. It was one of my favorites on this board. And uh, so I just scooped it out, put it on a ramekin. And again, all of these ramekins, the little ramekins, not the big one they can be found at Walmart. It's round, square, 
oval. There was so many different options, so you will not be limited by anything that they may or may not have. This ramekin from Better Home and Garden, it was just so, it was so beautiful. The colors just spoke out Thanksgiving, fall, holiday vibes to me. So I wanted to make sure to incorporate that in my video. Now, Biscoff to me, same thing. It screams fall. It screams this warm cookie with a yummy creamy center inside. So I wanted to make sure to add a Biscoff cookie. So I put that around our cute little pear. And now I'm doing my final touches. So I'm adding the walnuts. Those are also what I had at home and on hand. And you can definitely switch out for any type of nut that you find at Walmart. I personally love a Marcona almond, but Walmart just did not have that. And I can't find that even at some other specialty markets. It's it's pretty challenging to come by. So those two cheeses I didn't end up using like I just mentioned. And now I'm just going to go and kind of make sure that I have everything in its place, fix a couple of little things. I think I'm grabbing, yep, I'm grabbing two to three little pomegranate seeds and I'm putting it in this beautiful creamy brie. And I'm going to make it look like a tiny holly because it's just too hard to pass up something adorable like that. Now I'm just gonna start to add the beautiful herbs that we found at Walmart and they're all organic. So these were just such awesome ingredients and things you can find at your local store, super store. And I just love these pretty warm flowers. They just made me so happy. So if you are loving this board and it's giving you so many ideas, please make sure to like and subscribe. Comment below. Tell me if there's any other video you'd like to see. I would love to recreate it for you. And if you're just in the feel for all kinds of charcuterie, make sure to check out, I do have a holiday playlist. So I have a ton of other ideas and options that you can do for your next holiday party or family gathering. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to do all the things on YouTube for me. I would really appreciate it and have a happy and safe holiday. And I will talk to you soon.